Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we just come before your presence, just thanking and praising and worshiping you, oh God. Father, we take the time out to reverence you for your very being, oh God, for who you are, oh God. We thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy, oh God. We thank you, Father, for your faithfulness, oh God, for never leaving nor forsaking us, oh God. Father, we just thank you for your presence, your peace, your glory, your power, and the victory that is in your name, oh God. We thank you for it all, Lord. We thank you and we praise you right now, Lord. And Father, we just pray that you just move in the midst of this ministry today, oh God. We pray, Lord, that you have your way today, oh God. We pray, Lord, that you just touch James, oh God, that you anoint him and empower, equip and enable him to bring forth your word with power and authority, Lord, that is in your name, oh God. We pray, Lord, that you don't allow it to fall on deaf ears, Lord, but that your word accomplish what you sent it to do, oh God. Father, we pray that you just move in a powerful and mighty and miraculous way, oh God. And we pray, Lord, that you just set the captives free, Lord. We pray and ask all of these things in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Our affirmation scripture comes from Matthew 28, 18. And it reads, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. 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 Thank you, uh, Minister Stephanie, a.k.a. Prayer Warrior. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you, um, I know people are so busy today because it's nice outside. If they don't see it now, they get to see this later. But I just want to tell you all, God loves all y'all. All yeah. Um, I don't want to take up too much time, but I just want to let you know, when you walk with God, you walk with the best. You're not mm -hmm. second hand, third hand. You're first. Amen. 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 Now, through life, things come in. And we worry about them instead of just knowing they're there, don't worry about them because God will take care of it all. But mm -hmm. us, a lot of times, we just don't do that. We focus on the worry part. But Jesus tells us, do not worry. Then Jesus said to his disciples, therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body what you will wear for mm -hmm. life is more than food. The yeah. body is more than clothes. Consider the ravens. They do not sow or reap. They do not, they do, they, well, part, they have no storage rooms or barns yet. God feeds them. And how much more valuable are you than the birds? Yes. Who of you by worrying can add one single hour to their life? Since you can't do these very little things, why do you worry about the rest? Why do you worry? Why do you worry when you're a Christ follower? Why do you worry about these things as a Christ follower? Mm -hmm. He told you not to worry, but we go into panic mode. Mm -hmm. Now, the title of this message today is On the Path of Life, Part 2. And it starts off like this. Do not worry on this path. Be happy. Because in the book of Luke, Jesus commanded us not to worry. But how can we avoid these things is the question. There seems to be so many things to worry about. Mm -hmm our money, 
our future, our children, our work, our relationships, our health, and our mistakes and regrets on this path of worrying. Not to worry, be happy. Only a deep and confident trust in the Lord caring for us will be able to free us from anxiety and plagues most of us. Working and planning responsibly on this path is good, but worrying on ways our plans could go wrong is bad on this path. We invest in our relationships is good on this path, but worrying how we might have damaged them only causes stress. Worrying never solves tomorrow's problems, but it will destroy your peace of mind today on this path of worrying. Amen. Amen. Worrying is pointless because it can't fill your heart or your mind with the need. Worrying can't solve your problems. Worrying can't fill of your needs. Worrying can't fill your needs. Worrying can't fill you. I keep saying that because I want you all to catch that. <laughs> Worrying can't pay your bills when they come in. Worrying can't fix your relationships. Worrying can't get you promotion on your job. Mm. Worrying about your health can't fix it either. But it will give you stress and other things that go along with worrying. But mm -hmm. you call on Dr. Jesus. Say. He, he can fix all things. You're worrying, turn it over to him. He'll free your mind of the worrying. He'll free your body of the worrying. He will free you. He went to yes. the cross so you can't be free of worrying. Mm -hmm. He went to the cross and hung there so you can't be free. You can't be free of these things. Your mind has been trapped by the enemy. The worry comes mm -hmm. from the enemy. It's not from yes. God. So Say therefore, it. do not worry on this path. Give God his praise because he can mm -hmm. deliver you. He breaks strongholds in your mind. He is the doctor of all doctors. Yes, Worrying yes. is foolish because the counselor of the universe loves us and knows what we need. He promised to meet all our needs, real needs, but not necessarily our desires. <laughs> we have some desires. We just, oh, I want that. If God's keeping you away from it, it's not meant for you. Or if you have a problem to attain it, it's not meant for you. Stay focused what God's trying to take you. These things you want, it's not for you. God didn't mean for you to even go near them. Now, the word desire means a strong feeling of wanting something to happen or wishing it to happen on the path mm -hmm. of worrying. Like you want it, I want that. I don't care what's going on, I want that. Why is that worrying you? Do not worry. Be happy on this path. God's dear. Do not worry. Overcome worrying requires the following. You might want to get a pen. You might want to write this down. I don't know, you know, because this is kind of deep, kind of deep. You ready? Simply trust. I'll repeat that again. Simply trust. Simply mm -hmm. trust in the word of God, trusting in his promises. Do not have yeah. wavering. Trust, trust in our Heavenly Father to deliver you. Trust in our Heavenly Father to care for us. We can gain this experience by trusting Him, praying to Him, rather than worrying on this path of worry. Mm -hmm. God gives us a new perspective on our problems we can gain by developing a trust in God. The word developing means to grow, mm -hmm. become more mature on this path. Mature in your mind, mature in your mm -hmm. words, mature in your life. Focus on Jesus instead of the path you're on. 
On this path is a light. Who is the path and light? Who is the light on your path developing you? If you say anything but Jesus, you have did it wrong. So eh, wrong answer. The answer is Jesus all the way. Amen. Develop a good strategy and addressing and putting right our problems rather than just worrying about them. In Proverbs 3, 5, 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him. And he, get that? He will make your path straight. He will make your path straight. Mm -hmm. My son, attend to my words. Incline thy ear unto my saying. For they are life unto those that find them. And mm -hmm. health to all their mind. See, he just told you, you can free you right there. All your mind. Turn it over to him. Find a support team to help on this path. Find some believers. Hey, find some believers who will pray for you. Yes. Will pray for you. Mm -hmm. I have to repeat that again. Will pray for you. See, that's, yeah. that's the key right there. Pray for you. Amen. And I tell you. Uh, when you find these believers that will pray for you, I don't know who you you already are in the right place. And strengthen you to deal with your worrying. About worrying. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. You'll pick that up in Proverbs 2 6. That's the word of God on this path we on today. That's the yeah. word of God delivering you today. If you open your mind to him, if you allow him in, if you want to walk with him, if you're ready to change. Yeah. Sometimes professional help is needed. Train counselors if you're worried. That mm -hmm. would be Jesus, wonderful counselor. In the book of Isaiah 9, 6, for to us a child is born, mm. to us a son is given. The government will be on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, yes. Prince of Peace. Worrying and anxiety <laughs> becomes too much for you, more than you be handled, more than you can handle. Worrying becomes more than you and your family can handle alone on this path of worrying. Be happy. Jesus is on this path. Wonderful counselor. This counselor yeah. is free. I may pick that again. Everybody likes free stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's free. Y'all didn't hear that. He's free. He don't cost yeah. you nothing. He's free. All it requires is you confess that he is Lord and he can save you. Don't have to go to his office at all. Mm. All you got to do is call on the name. Ask Jesus to save you. Watch yeah. the wonderful counselor go to work on the path in your life. Watch him. Watch him just change everything in your world. And the people listening who know what I'm talking about, you had to be delivered like I had, like all of us had. We had yeah. to be delivered to get to this point to understand what it mm -hmm. means when we read this and what it means when we hear this, what it means what God is doing in our life. Mm -hmm. The peace of God, which passes all understanding. So keep mm -hmm. your heart and mind through Jesus Christ. That's yeah. Philippians 4 7. It is the peace, it only comes from Jesus that is God's peace. It is the peace and the power and the goodness and the willingness to help us by his righteous right mm -hmm. hand as his children. Yeah. The thought is the peace stands guard 24 seven over us like a sentinel. Now the word sentinel means military or police. A soldier or guard's job is to stand guard, to keep watch and 
put him near a situation where he had to stand guard and put him there to watch, to keep peace. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what you get. To keep the peace, he keeps watch. Hey, I'll give you a little um, definition. A wide corner has been roped off and sitting with police. We have seen it all through our city. Let something happen. And everybody said, why so much police show up? They show up because they blanket the area. They sentinels, they pounce, they sneak, they're right there. I know, what's this got to do with the message you're giving today? Guess what? Stay tuned, hold on. Now, this is what it got to do with. You, as believers, have been roped off by the Holy Spirit to keep watch over you, to challenge every hostile worry and thought or fear he comes near you. It keeps the Christian mind so he at Heart has peace with God, yes. fellowship and communion, and it gains the mind to be able to go forward. So mm -hmm. thinking straight, that's what it helps you do. Focus on God's path. I clear, I clear, I declare. Mm -hmm. The divine power and wisdom and love God has on this path for you. For you. Yes. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear is the question. Thank you. The Lord is my stronghold of my life. Whom should I be afraid of? Now, when you have problems with the people you don't understand, repeat this to yourself. When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is the enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Read that part again. Stumble and fall. Mm -hmm. That's in Psalms 27, 1 and 2. God always protects you. God's yeah. always watching over you. God is always there for you. Don't make no mistake. He is on the throne and he is looking and he is watching. Now, Lord Jesus, I need some help. Mm. I need you to save me. I feel like everybody's trying to play me on this path. Woo! Everybody I was close to crossed me on this path, Lord. Lord Jesus, I'm calling you because my worrying is on Amplified with the other mm -hmm. members of the worrying family. Paranoia showed up. PTSD showed up, mm. anxiety showed up, and the top it off, depression joined in the game. Mm -hmm. I need a counselor. Stand on faith. Faith and worrying can coexist in the same place. Mm -hmm. When faith shows up, worrying runs out. But don't get too happy, because go see like I'm doing oxymoron here, but you'll get it in a minute. But when worrying steps in, faith walks out. They do not get along. They, that's how faith and worrying cancel out each other. Okay? Now, I'm going to stop right there to slow down so you catch up. Because I know we're like, I don't understand what you're saying. This is what I'm saying. Your faith is strong. Mm -hmm. Long as you're walking in faith, worrying is going to run out. Mm -hmm. But as soon as you waver or slack, he steps back in. Yes. He steps in because you left door but like, okay, I think I beat this now. No, 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 no. You keep God focused every day, in day, out day. I don't care what time of day it is. I'm trying to get something there. You have to stay focused on him because when worrying shows up, you can cancel him, but to keep him out, you must stand on faith. Amen. 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 Thank you. We want faith in our lives, not worrying. Some of us, someone wisely said to us, trust in the Lord and he will lead you. Yes, he will. We want faith in our lives, not worrying. Mm -hmm. Someone wisely said, that 
when when you trust, you don't worry. And when you worry, you don't trust. Let's face the obvious before us with great faith. Yes. Great faith. Yeah. Stand with faith. Great faith. No matter what's the obstacle, I don't care what your job's doing, stand with faith. I don't care what your life's doing, stand with faith. I don't care how your bills look, stand with faith. I don't care what's going on and who said it or who done it. God has got you covered. But yeah. you've got to have the faith. And then you Thank can you. sit back and say, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow mm -hmm. will worry about itself. Yeah. Each day has enough problems of its own. Amen. That's Matthew 6, 34. Now, also, he, after you've done that, he will lead me beside quiet waters. Mm -hmm. He will refresh my soul. Mm -hmm. He will guide me along the righteous path for his name's sake. He will guard me and find me and use me and I'm already saved because he is washing out over me. And I say to that, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank Without you. you, I wouldn't be able to do nothing. Amen. Amen. As I get nearer to the end of this message, I just want you to take this and put it in your cap. I want you to go to, uh, you don't have to go, but write it down. Jeremiah 17, verse 7 to nine, whenever you get a minute, read it over. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like trees planted in the water. Yeah. Get that? Trees planted in the water. Mm -hmm. They will stretch out their roots in a stream. It does, it does fear heat coming. It does not fear the heat coming. Its leaves is always green. Mm -hmm. It has no worry, get that, no worry of the year of drought. Now, reason I say that, because it's, and fruit is always on the tree, always. Because God, if you plant it by him and you pull in his nourishment, you always gonna be green. You know how that fig tree was, God cursed. Mm -hmm. It looked like it had figs on it. But when he raised the leaf, don't let your life be like that. Mm -hmm. Don't let your life be like you quote scriptures and do this and do that. Make sure when your leaf comes up, they see your fruit. And sometimes they don't have to lift your leaf. It's your actions. Yes. It's your actions that show them, oh, okay, I get it. But you must allow God, allow God to get in there and nourishing you. I tell everybody right now, today, take your time. I know we have these busy days. I get it. You know, we all got lives. I get it. But before you start your day, because a lot of people say, I don't have time to pray in the morning. I'm going to tell you what I do. Maybe it might help you. You know, it's just me. Tell me if I'm wrong. I don't meet with people until I meet with God first. Repeat that again. I don't mean people to meet with God first. That means when I wake it in the morning, I'm praying. I'm praying. That's the first thing on the agenda. Matter about work, anything. I'm praying before I move. I meet with Him. Second thing is fill your mind full of His Word, because you can open the Bible for a minute. If you're drinking a cup of coffee, you got time to read. If you're drinking a glass of water, you got time to read. Don't say you don't have enough time. See, when you say that, you're saying you put God behind you and put the world in front of you. I can't do that. God's in front of me at all times. Yes. I ain't got time to play no games with nobody who's not walking with Christ. I'm saying this because I want you all to succeed. I want you all to be heavily bound, not yeah. hell bound. Amen? Amen. Today, 
It's nice outside. Everybody's about their business. But ask the average person today, what did you do when you woke up this morning? Mm. You run and get dressed, you run out the house because it was a nice day? Or you say, thank you, Lord. Then, then, then you moved in. Did you do that? Jesus. Did you do that? My Lord. No, let me know. Did you do that? Yes, yes, yes. Did you allow God in your life today? Yes. Thank you, Lord. You know that our God is a powerful God. Mm -hmm. I tell you, we almost, we always supposed to reflect on what he's doing in our life. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We we don't we can't take God for granted. Mm -hmm. A lot of people do. Mm -hmm. They take God for granted. Amen. Yes. Okay. Now I'm getting ready to close here. I just want y'all to remember. Whatever you do today, put God first. That path mm -hmm. that you're on, keep going on that path. That worrying path that's going around because everything's coming in on us, stand. Yeah. In your steps. Stand. Thank you. Stretch out your arms and say, Jesus, I know you got this. I don't have to worry. I know you got this. You will take care of this problem today. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 I'm going to let Stephanie pray us out. Then I'll be right back and then we'll see you. Amen. Stephanie. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the message, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we don't have to worry, oh God. Your word says that we can cast all our cares upon you for you care for us, oh God. So, Father, we just pray, Lord, that you just allow us to take the message in stride, oh God. We pray, Lord, that you just allow us to learn from the message that we were given today, oh God. Remind us, oh God, that you are the one that will take care of every one of our needs, oh God, according to your riches and glory, oh God. Father, you pray that we may have life. You came that we may have life and life more abundantly, oh God. So we cast all our cares upon you, Lord, for we know that you care for us. And Father, we pray that you just continue to strengthen us in our weariness, oh God. Continue to strengthen us when we feel weak, oh God, when we feel like throwing up our hands, when we do start to worry, when we do start to doubt, oh God. We pray, Lord, that you just raise up a standard against every attack of the enemy on our lives, oh God, on our minds, in our circumstances, in our situations, oh God. We pray, Lord, that that you continue to give us the victory that is in your name, oh God. Remind us, oh God, that there's no weapon formed against us that will prosper, oh God. And that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world, oh God. So we pray, Lord, that you remove any and everything that's not of you, oh God. Continue to build us up, oh God. Continue to work Christ-like characters in us, oh God. Continue to give us a desire and a hunger and a thirst after you first, oh God. Your word says to seek ye first your kingdom and your righteousness, oh God, and everything else will be added unto us, oh God. So Father, we pray that you give us a right mind to serve you in right mind and holiness and righteousness according to your word and your will for our lives, oh God. Continue to strengthen us and empower us in our everyday walk and relationship with you, oh God. And Father, we pray that you continue to place your hand on this ministry, oh God. We know that the work is plenty and the laborers are few. So Father, we pray that you send the laborers right now that have a heart and a desire to seek the things that you have for us, oh God, to go after the lost and the masses, oh God, to go out and reach the lost. You told us to go and go after those that are lost, oh God. So Father, we pray that you just send your laborers to this ministry, oh God, so that it can flourish and grow and so that we can reach the lost, oh God. We pray and ask all of these things in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody who want to uh, donate to us, go to Cash App, Reverend James Moore, sign, dollar sign, Cash, Save a Life Ministry.
And we will appreciate your donation because you help us do stuff in the community and to better everybody even. Bill sends stuff overseas. We thank you because uh, I never thought I would be able to be in a position to be able to do this, but God allows this. I thank you. Yes. Thank you. Now, last thing I want to ask you before you get away from me, if God showed up right now to see what you're doing, would he be happy? Would he be pleased? Now, the ball's in your corner. Now, what you going to do with it? Amen. 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 Thank you. Good seeing you, Steph. Uh, I'll call you in a little while. Okay. Bless you. Bless you. Bye.